A key decision opening up a new phase in the fight against COVID-19. The CDC has officially recommended Pfizer vaccines for children as young as five years old, making 28 million more Americans now eligible for the vaccine. Thanks for joining us. This is a nightly check and I'm Mark Mullen. So starting next week, nationwide Pfizer's dose for children ages five to 11 will be available. The vaccine is one third the size of the dose for teens and adults and will be given as two shots three weeks apart. Before making the decision to approve the vaccine for kids, health officials examined data from the last 18 months saying that 652 children had died from COVID in the U.S. since the start of the pandemic. And the children ages 5 to 11 account for over 40 percent of all current COVID cases nationwide. But said that number is probably even higher because many pediatric cases go unreported. Millions of Americans have already received their COVID-19 vaccines, and for most people, they only experience mild to moderate reactions, but there are some rare cases of severe reactions. That is what a 28-year-old woman from Oceanside thinks happened to her. Tiffany Daly says she was working at her job at a metal shop July 22nd, suddenly lost feeling in her legs and collapsed. She spent more than a week in the hospital undergoing numerous brain scans. A neurologist finally diagnosed her with transverse myelitis. It's an inflammation of the spine. The doctor said her sudden case was likely caused by her first injection of the Moderna vaccine, which she got more than six weeks before her legs became numb. An investigation is underway at a zip line facility in Palma Valley after an employee was killed by a fall from a zip line platform or off a zip line platform. 34 year old Joaquin Romero was working on a receiving platform helping people get buckled and unbuckled from the zip line when he accidentally fell while trying to get a woman secured. The incident happened on Saturday. He was airlifted to a hospital immediately after and treated for serious blunt force injuries. But uh, ultimately, Romero passed away yesterday. Zip Zoom zip line located on the La Jolla Indian Reservation remains closed while this investigation is underway. Police are searching for a man suspected of sexually assaulting a woman on Sunday night inside a bathroom at De Anza Cove in Mission Beach. A victim told police she had just finished using the restroom when she was attacked from behind. She was not able to provide a great physical description of the attacker. Another person visiting the area found the woman after the incident, called police, but the suspect had already left. Police have shared the attacker had a blue mountain bike with black rims and silver spokes. If you know anything about the incident, please call police. Eight people were injured when a driver ran a red light in a Lincoln Park neighborhood crashing into a restaurant while people were eating their lunch. The injured people include a three-year-old child. The crash was reported about noon at the Fresheria restaurant on Logan Avenue. Dashcam video obtained by NBC7 showed the red Mustang blowing through the light and hitting a sedan as it crossed Logan Avenue. That force pushed the car up onto the sidewalk and into the restaurant, while the Mustang remained in the street. Police said at least one of the drivers ran off after the crash and was detained a short distance away. Celebrations for Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead continued Tuesday. Processions were held around the county to remember lost loved ones. Beautiful altars all set up to do that, which included flowers, candles, photos and other mementos. The Mexican holiday celebrated on November 1st and 2nd is becoming increasingly popular here in the U.S. Before we sign off, here are your current temperatures. Dagmar has an extended forecast over at the weather section located on the main menu of our Roku and Apple TV app. That's going to do it for our nightly check-in. I'm Mark Mullen. Have a good night.